Oh, I've been waiting on this to come in. Let's dig in. All right, so first off, we started out. We've got this lovely little thank you message, which is really cool. I haven't opened anything up yet. I haven't lifted this up yet. I haven't seen it. So let's start this journey. First off, thank you to Anatomica Science. Awesome. I've been waiting on this. So let's go first. Ooh. Ooh, a starfish. Terrifying creatures they can be. That is a nice little specimen. Let's put him down and off to the side. Some of this. I can burn this later or something, I'm sure. Oh boy! Oh, here we are. Wow. Okay, so what shall we get first? Um, I'm really excited. I want to see the skull because it said it comes with the skull. I mean, can can you can you blame me? No, no, I can't. Ah, my brethren. Ah. All right, enough fooling around. Ew. Ew. And what does Josh not have? A knife. Surprisingly on him. So let's take this and open her up. See, where I'm from, we don't have really any oddity shops or anything like that. So it's kind of hard to get a, a hold of uh, animal skulls unless you're going to do it yourself or we'll probably go to one of our local butcher houses. I don't know what it'd take to get a cattle skull. Look at that. Okay, okay, so yeah, separate with the jaw. That's going to be pretty. Let me put you somewhere as you just nicely put. Okay. Awesome. Uh, yes. Okay. The cotton in the jar is intended to protect the beetle during shipping. Once you receive it, carefully open the bottle, remove the cotton, and gently remove the cotton around the beetle's claws. They are very fragile. I can catch the fibers easily. Okay. Ooh. A beetle specimen. Hercules beetle. If you can see him. See his horn. His great horn. Interesting. Wow, he almost looks like he's made out of wood if you look at his back and his, his wings. I see one of the things I was hoping I would get, which is a, a diaphanized specimen. This little guy, I don't know what specifically it is, but I hope to actually get another one or two specimens from this person. Yes. Angelfish, I think it is. Oh. There you go. Yeah. Okay. Next. This. Oh, pretty. So, part of the idea for all of this is that I'm going to take and make a shelf for my room or somewhere where I can display all this. A, a nice black shelf for this.
Oh. Beautiful little specimens. Keep on display. There's more. Of course, I did order the large box. The large box has a, a few different things. Let's see here. I got a few of these rabbit pelts. I've actually got a few that I've gotten from uh, Hobby Lobby, but that's a that's a nice pelt. I could use that for something. Actually, I could use that to place the skull on. That'd be kind of a neat little resting spot for it. Porcupine quill. Very nice. I've seen some people take them and, and make them through, you know, the nose, through the ears. Oh, such an odd, nice little collection of things. Well, here we are. <clears throat> so, okay. each thing has a card that comes with it, which is just awesome. So the Lofis Lofa, speak for the rabbit fur, the specimen, the butterfly in question is a king swallowtail, pretty cool. I thought about that, I was hoping I was going to get something like an emperor or, or something like that, emperor moth, butterfly, something like that anyways, or like a blue bottle, but that's fine, that, that's a pretty specimen. A st stag beetle, okay. I thought that was a Hercules due to its horn. It may not be. Still, I mean, that's really cool. Quill. Porcupine quill. Card for that. Ah, it is angelfish. Okay, so yes, the small specimen here, this little jar, is a diaphanized angelfish. And on the backs of all these cards are actually uh, info on the different various things that you get in here. It's not just a picture to show you what you've got. There's also a little story to go along, which I, I love it. The skull is actually a coyote skull. And, of course, as you saw for the first thing, was a starfish, which is really neat. I'm going to have to go through these. I'm going to have to read them later. Dif oh, even expl explanations for... Butterfly collecting, bone cleaning, which I know some people use beetles, some people use chemical process. It'd be nice to hear what they have to say on it. And uh, diaphanization, which is, like I said, that angel, little baby angelfish. Natural history collections. That is just, I am very pleased with this. This is awesome. And if you get the chance, by all means, check them out. Anatomica. Art, Science, and Anatomy, and I will probably list up a picture afterwards to show y'all, you know, I'll have to get a different picture of it to show you guys, but uh, yeah, check them out. So that y'all can actually see it, and y'all can check it out, now that you can actually read it, you can pause, and there you go.